Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. So in this video, I'm going to review MIUI Mind Edition for Redmi Note 8. So you guys are asking me a long time to review this ROM and I don't really like my UI. And when I bought this device, actually after one month, when the custom ROM are available, from that time I was using custom ROM, I never go back to MIUI. Although I do like some features of MIUI, but basically I don't like because the performance is garbage. So about this ROM, the performance here also garbage. Let's go and see why I'm saying that. First of all, as you can see the display, the display is oversaturated. You cannot control that. I have tried many things and the colors look very bad. The skin tone and other things, as you see, it's like that the colors are burned. So like that. And also the skin rotation is also there, which is called skin ghosting. Also, sometimes they say burning also, and it's also there and you cannot do anything about it. One thing is good about this ROM is that when I move to this ROM, when I uh, restored apps, the, all the apps restored properly and it's working. The skin, as you can see, it's basically in my way. You are getting like control center because it's based on Android 12 and my UI 13 here. Let's go and check what version we are running. So about phone, as you can see, Snapdragon 655 and everything is there. Storage and my UI version is 13 and Android version 12. And it's mind version, so as you can see, mind edition. And security privacy level is November 5, 2022, so it's a quite recent build, not the old one. So let's go here. And if I go like the battery backup and other things are quite good. If you are using my way, you know the battery backup is quite good because they restrict most of the things. And if I go on this ROM, there are no blow tire actually, all the blow tire are deleted and it's quite clean ROM but the performance is not that great although it's a clean clean ROM but one of the positive thing of this ROM is that the fingerprint scanner it's quite fast so just it needs one tap and it does turn on there is no issue with that and it's very fast not like your custom ROMs whenever I use custom ROMs like pixel experience or other ROMs the fingerprint is a bit slower there but here it's work like charm the main problem with this ROM is one is color of the display, another is the camera. So if I go to camera, as you can see, the camera is open now. Let me take a model here. So hopefully you can see. So if I click on 0.6, you see the ultra wide camera is not working here. 2x works because it's a main camera. If I go to macro camera, macro also doesn't work. So as you can see, they're using still using the main camera so macro also doesn't work i don't know why this is an miui rom actually not custom rom or other roms miui rom is still the auxiliary camera is not working here even if i use the google camera so google camera does work the main camera working and the auxiliary cameras are not there this is an auxiliary camera build actually in last with last rom reviews i have shown that there are uh, gcam which has like auxiliary camera support even in this ROM, the auxiliary camera doesn't work. I don't know why. The main camera and front camera does work. There is no issue with that. And performance wise, as you can see, it's very sluggish and it just, I don't like actually, I don't like. You can change the stack of the things and other things. But I think that this ROM is pretty useless. If you use any kind of custom ROMs before MIUI, maybe you will not like anymore this ROM. And if I go, one thing, one, uh, one other positive thing of this ROM is that fingerprint rather than fingerprint is like portable host spot i know that xiaomi phones they do uh, give you the selection of band as you can see 2.4 and 5 gigahertz so it's present here too and another thing of this rom is that uh, it's cleaned out all the blow toyer so this is another positive things but basically if you want me to say that is this rom good for your phone i will say no it's not i have used better rom from this so if you want me to suggest you the rom I will suggest you clean ROM because you will get much better performance than this ROM. It's a garbage ROM. This one is. I I don't really want to say, but it's garbage actually. So what you can do is that for if you want Android 12, you can install C Android B8.8, and if you want Android 13, as for now, I will say you to install Dreamfest ROM, and Dreamfest ROM is one of the best for Android 13. And some of you are still asking me to review uh, price droid ROM and you guys saying that that is the best ROM. I will try that after this ROM and I will put you a review and I will see 
how it's performed so as for mi ui mind edition i will say no don't go with this rom but still if you guys love mi ui and you want to install on your readme note it i will put the link in the description you can download it and install it there but before installing this rom if you are using any kind of custom rom flush the firmware first if you don't flush firmware sometimes the rom doesn't boot so flush the firmware then install the custom this rom and it's necessary to format everything and clean installation is necessary and don't use twrp try to use orange fox recovery sometimes twrp cannot flush the rom so use orange fox so that's it for my way mind edition thank you very much for watching and i will see so please sabar kara sarakabar sabar kara sarak sarakab